NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. Well, Matt, we have been talking all evening about the storm that passed through yesterday. Just crazy images. Yeah, that was really crazy. Just to see the, the tree down on the Jeep, all those uprooted trees. It was really uh, something, to, something to see. Yeah. I know. Luckily, no like super bad damage, but still. Yeah, no injuries. That's yeah. a good thing. And, and we, we did mention the severe threat yesterday. And uh, we had some more of it today, but it really was to the south. You know, you can see that. We were in the severe thunderstorm watch earlier, but now uh, in Burlington, Plattsburgh, we're out of that. It has shifted off to the south and east, and you know we really didn't see as much uh, widespread activity to the north as we once thought, and that's because the best dynamics were just over to the east, over uh, like Vermont or uh, over New Hampshire, I should say, in Maine. So really didn't see much of that in the way in the way of that here, and you can see we have some leftover showers moving through northern areas. Storms tried to get going earlier, but just struggled in the environment. We had lots of cloud cover ahead of the main cold front, so that kind of put a cap on our instability. Now, we still have a little bit of a severe threat off to the south. You can see some lightning starting to move into Bennington County. We'll zoom in a little closer and show you where it is. Bennington, uh, Shaftesbury, moving on to Wilmington, Wardsboro eventually into the upper valley or the lower Connecticut Valley over the next uh, hour or two. And you can see that our cold front is starting to slice through the region. You know, it's pretty easy to find it here. You see temperatures in the 50s over uh, northern New York. We're at 66 now in Burlington. We were in the 80s earlier, so temperatures have crashed about 20 degrees from our daytime highs. You can see our daytime highs still being realized in uh, portions of the Connecticut River Valley with 80s and 90s still there. But everybody getting in, in onto the cooler weather tonight, it'll be much less humid as well. So much more comfortable sleeping weather overnight and we have a much cooler start to the work week with below average temperatures in the 60s and we'll stay dry for a couple days before our rain chances increase once again for the middle of this week. So here's future cast. We got the storms out there now off to the south and east. They'll quickly move off as we head through the rest of tonight so that by tomorrow morning most of us should be seeing lots of sunshine in fact and we'll have a pretty nice day ahead with uh, just a few afternoon clouds starting to mix in for most of us but otherwise another uh, beautiful day on Tuesday there will be cool, a little bit of a north breeze, but with that sunshine, it's just going to feel really spectacular outside. So try and get out and enjoy it. It'll be certainly a nice welcome break from all this humidity. And here's our dew points out there right now. You can see they've fallen into the 50s here in Burlington. We were in the upper 60s to near 70. So that's pretty oppressive humidity for this time of year. But you can see that everybody's starting to drop off as we head into the day tomorrow. Our dew points in the 30s for most of us. So that's going to be about 30 to almost 40 degrees cooler than we saw for dew points uh, today. So that's certainly some good news for those of you, you, those of you who like the cooler weather. And it will be much cooler tonight. Temperatures near 50 in the Burlington area, 40 in Plattsburgh. Look at Saranac Lake coming in at 38 degrees tonight. So certainly a far cry from what we just saw the past couple of days. Tomorrow certainly much cooler than today. 64 for the high in Burlington, 64 in Plattsburgh as well. A couple of 70s down there in the Connecticut River Valley with the mix of sun and clouds. A little bit of a light north wind. It'll just feel spectacular out there. We'll warm up to near 70 on Tuesday with a continued partly sunny skies. Mid 70s possible by Wednesday. We'll start to get some more clouds in the forecast and our shower chance Chances do increase by the middle to end of next week. You'll also notice the humidity is going to start to creep up a little bit. You can see our nighttime lows go back from the 40s back up to the 60s. So you'll notice a little bit of a creep up in that humidity toward the end of the week, but we should start off Memorial Day weekend a little bit cooler. And preliminary thoughts are that we are going to have a pretty nice weekend with lots of sunshine in the forecast. You can see temperatures warming up almost every day into the 70s and 80s. Have to watch for storms next week. But uh, for now, it looks like we'll be pretty good for Memorial Day weekend, Liz.